I see it time and time again. A lot of entrepreneurs get into the business selling a course, a service, a program, and they focus on doing bigger and bigger launches because they want to make more money. As if a bigger launch means I will make more money. In some cases, yeah, it means that. But in a lot of cases, there are easier, faster, and more profitable ways to generate revenue inside of your business besides doing bigger launches, bigger evergreen funnels, and more promotions. And inside this episode, we're going to talk about the different ways that we actually generate more revenue inside of our business without relying on doing more and more launches. So if that's interesting to you, well, keep on listening. Hi, I'm Brandon Lucero, and you're about to experience the new way to thrive in business, entrepreneurship, and life by leaning into who you are, what you love, and standing up for what you want to create. Get ready, because this is where we go against the grain, say no to outdated society norms, and we say yes to change in order to create a happier, more fulfilled world. Welcome to the New Generation Entrepreneur Podcast. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of the New Generation Entrepreneur Podcast. Today is going to be a fun episode. Why? Because we get to talk about money, making it rain. Well, hopefully. (laughs) We're going to talk about how you can double your revenue without adding in more launches. And I see this time and time again that a lot of people, uh, and I'm guilty of this from time to time. In fact, this is pretty much how I ran my business for a lot of years, is that everyone looks at your launch or your promotion as the source of money inside of the company or the main source of money inside of your company. Um, Instead of looking at your launches and your customers that are coming in as like their first step with you. And so um, let me see if I can give you guys a better example. The way most people look at their launches is kind of like going in and um, like a car dealership, they know they're basically just gonna sell you. Well, actually car dealerships, maybe not even the best example. Let me use a bike shop. A bike shop knows that they're going to sell you a bike. And usually once you buy the bike, you're not gonna come back in. There might be little things they sell you here and there, but they're gonna sell you the bike. The main source of revenue is gonna come from that bike, okay? However, when we look at like a razor company, for example, like with a razor you use to shave your face, they're going to sell you the razor. They're going to make a lump of of money off the razor. You know, maybe it's like 15 bucks or whatever it is, but they're going to, they know they're going to make most of their money off of selling you the fulfillment or the refills of the blades. That's just where they're going to make most of their money. Call that the back end. And so how a lot of people are looking at their launches is they look at launches the same way a bike shop looks at selling a bike. Whereas this is going to be our main chunk of money. This is going to be the big purchase. I just need to do bigger launches in order to make more revenue. But there's so many different things you can do to generate more money inside of your company without launching. And we call this the back end process. Again, this is something that I've learned uh, really well from James and I've I've known uh, James Wedmore. And I know inside of his program, Business by Design, he's helped a lot of people even have failed launches, turn those failed launches around by coming back to the people who didn't buy with more offers or upselling people who did buy into higher things. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about how do we actually help you generate more money inside of your company without having to do more launches or more promotions. How do we start to raise your customer value? How do we start to raise what a customer is worth to you. Okay. So let's get some basics out of the way. First and foremost, um, I want to talk about one click upsells and order bumps. So for those of you who don't know what those are, let me break it down. A one click upsell is basically something that comes up when someone makes a purchase. So, So when someone buys from you before they are brought to the thank you page, a one click upsell is a screen that will come up and it makes them an additional offer that they can add it to their order. Usually what it's going to be is going to be a uh, product that complements what they just bought. When you do this, it's very important to start off by reaffirming what they just purchased. So you, your script or what you should say is something along the lines of, hey, congratulations on purchasing X, Y, and Z. You now have everything you need to be able to do X, Y, and Z. So you want to reiterate the promise. You want to make sure that they know that they now have everything they need to solve the problem that you promised. But what you want to do is bring up another issue. And you'll say something along the lines of, 
we've found after working with thousands of students that some of our best students also like to learn X, Y, and Z. So for me, I talk about messaging, maybe it's Facebook ads. We've realized that a lot of our students also like to learn the ins and outs of Facebook ads. And we have a training that will allow you to add it, like to, to, to learn it. All you need to do is click the button below and I'll add it to your order, okay? So again, reaffirm the purchase, everything that they get, bring up a, a problem, a new problem that you can solve by adding additional thing on there. Tell them that the best students usually like this training as well. Uh, then what you wanna do is tell them the price, give them a really good deal, tell them that that price is gonna go away after they leave the screen, but if they click yes, you can add it to their order, okay? So that's usually how the one-click upsells work. Other things we can do too is if someone's on a payment plan, you can offer them to pay in full right then and there and maybe give them a little bit of a discount if they pay in full. And we've done that um, or we've done that without giving people a discount. It's so bizarre, but it works. So we'll have people that don't buy NGM and pay in full. So they'd go on the payment plan and the payment plan comes out to like 3,600 bucks or whatever it is. And they'll pay the payment plan and then we'll do a one click upsell and we'll say, hey, you just got this order. You're on the payment plan. We would like to give you a $600 discount if you pay off your balance right now, bringing your total investment to twenty-seven or $29.97. And they literally said no to that like 10 seconds ago when they ordered. And then they will click yes and they will pay us in full. And so we've done that before too. But a one-click upsell is something that pops up as soon as they make a purchase and they can add it to their order. An order bump is a little similar but an order bump is something on the checkout screen. So when they go to checkout, you can have a mini offer. Would you like to tack this on? Click the box here and we'll add it to your order. So those are two things that you could do. Order bumps, one click upsells. Um, some software you can use. I know Kajabi has one click upsells. I don't know if they have order bumps. Sam Cart's really good. I know ClickFunnels does it as well. Um, but that's one click upsells and order bumps, okay? We also have down sells. When a downsell is basically when you make an offer and someone doesn't take that offer, you downsell them into a smaller, less expensive offer. This is a great way to bring extra revenue inside of your business. We're going to talk about downsells as well. Okay. Now let's talk about upsells. Upsells is when someone buys something and you upsell them into a higher level program. You can do this during a launch, you can do this at events, you can do this within your program, different things like that, okay? That, those are the basic ways in which we can add revenue inside of your business. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually in this episode going to break down our entire process of how we use down sales, up sales, all of that stuff within our company, okay? Because a lot of our revenue is not made on the front end. Like when you hear me say, oh, we did a million dollar launch. Yeah, we did a million dollar launch, meaning like when we closed cart, we had a million dollars in sales. But I also know we might do another $500,000 in revenue off of those people that just came in because we have a whole system and a process of down sales, up sales, moving them into higher level programs, selling them more things. And it's so much easier to sell your customers more things than it is to bring on new customers, by the way. Okay, so this can also be used to save launches. So if you did a launch and it flopped, you have the option to downsell them into something else, or you have the option to offer a higher level something. So if you did a launch and it totally bombed and you get some feedback and people are like, well, we just wanted something a little higher level, more one-on-one -on -one support. Well, great, why don't you go back to them and offer a higher level program at a higher price point with more one-on-one -on -one or whatever it is they asked. You could save your launch that way. If you went and launched and they said the price was too high and you couldn't convince them to get in, give them a down sell. Because here's the thing, once you get them into a down sell, you get them to say yes to a smaller offer, you can always upsell them two months down the road. And yeah, it might've taken you two months to get them to where you re really wanted them, but at least that's better than not getting anything at all, okay? So you can save launches with all of this. So what I wanna do now is let's move into how we do this inside of our company. This is also how people like Jim Fortin and James Wedmore work their business as well. 
Uh, in fact, Jim's process works so well and don't quote me on these numbers, but I know like he'll usually double the amount of revenue they do on a launch. James is, James is, I think his might even be more as well because their, their backend processes are so dialed in. So here's how it works for us. At the beginning of the year, we do a big launch and we do one big launch uh, right at the beginning of the year and we sell a $3,000 program and our mentorship program, which is we are now moving up to, I think, $16,000. We'll get a, a, a decent amount of people. We usually get, I don't know, three, 400 people to join our program at those price points. Now, we'll usually have 10 to 20,000 leads. So if we're selling, let's just call it 400 people, we have 10,000 leads. That means there's 9,600 people that said, I'm interested, but I didn't buy. Okay. So what we do a week after we close cart is we go to every single person who didn't buy. We have segmenting done, so all of our customers get segmented out of this list as best as we can. And we offer them a smaller entry level program for 500 bucks. This is our thought reversal program. It only teaches thought reversals, nothing else. So it's, it's a tiny sliver of our main $3,000 program. And we will make anywhere from 50 to $100,000 off of this offer. So we'll make an additional 50 to $100,000. It doesn't cost us any more ad spend. It doesn't cost us any more money. This is what's so great about it is you get to double your money without it costing you anything. So we just sent out a couple emails and boom, another 50 to 100 grand. Now, this is what's so bizarre. Again, this is something I learned from James and I learned from Inside uh, Business by Design. It makes no logical sense why it works, but it freaking works. What we do is is we close, so we close cart on our $3,000 offer. This chair is bugging me. All right, there we go. Uh, $3,000 offer. We close cart on a $3,000 offer. A week later, we sell our 497 thought reversal course. When someone buys our 497 thought reversal course, I have a one click upsell that sells them and makes an offer to our $3,000 program. Keep in mind, they said no to our $3,000 program the week before. They now said yes to our 497 offer. And I tell them, we will not launch this program. You will not be able to get in until this program launches again. Most people that get thought reversal eventually will buy this program at some point. Why don't you get into it now and just click the button below and we'll, we'll give you the full order. We will usually get anywhere from 10 to 20% of our sales, our thought reversal sales, to tack on our $3,000 program. Which again, it makes no logical sense because a week ago they said no to the program. But there's something that happens when they make a smaller commitment, it's a lot easier to, for them to say yes to the bigger commitment. So we will actually make more money off of the upsells back into the program than we do off of the downsell, which is crazy. So if we make like 50 grand off of the thought reversal um, sales at 497, we will usually make like another 60 or 70 off of the upsells back into the program. It's totally bizarre, but it works, okay? So when we launch, we'll say, let's just call it a million dollars. We do a million dollars in sales. We'll do another like 50 to 70 grand off of the 497. We'll do another 50 to 70 off of the thought reversal, or sorry, the upsell, okay? So that's usually how our launch rolls out. 30 days after cart closes, we do what we call FOMO promo. Again, I got this from James. James is the master of the FOMO promo and backend sales and processes. And this is why business by design is so great. It's because they give you all of this stuff. So um, FOMO promo. What FOMO promo is, is we take all the results that our students have seen over the last 30 days of being in our program. We start emailing our student or all the non-buyers and saying, what have you accomplished in the last 30 days? Did you do what you thought you wanted to do? Did you get your messaging in order? Did you get your content in order? Because here's what our students have done. Our students have closed clients. They have gotten these types of results. They've had this type of exposure, this type of engagement. And what we'll do is we will open cart back up for 48 hours to the non-buyers. This is a new process we are doing right now. In fact, we, I believe we just rolled it out today and I think we've already had like two or three sales come in since I've been doing these podcasts. Um, so we'll make additional income that way. It's called FOMO promo. We got it from Business by Design and, and James. Then what we do is inside our program, 
we have checkpoints inside our program where people can monitor their success. And what we do is we have an application inside of our program for our regular students to apply and upgrade to the mentorship program. So if they ever feel like they're stuck, they need more help, they can apply to upgrade. So this is an internal upgrade that is always running. Okay, so we're always checking in with our students, asking if they need more help and upselling them into our higher level program. Now, what we also do about 45 days after we close cart is we do an internal launch to our students to see if they want to upgrade into the mentorship program. So and again, another back end sale. It doesn't cost us any money. It doesn't really take a ton of marketing because it's all done through emails. It's basically just adding more profit to the company. So if you look at this, we're now 45 days after our launch. We've had people upsell into the mentorship program. We've had non-buyers then go back and buy the program with FOMO promo. We've done a downsell that also included an upsell. All of that happens within 45 days. Now, what most people will do is they will close cart and they will move on. They will move on without doing any of that. The back end sales can make or break your company. They can add more profitability to your company than an actual launch. So then what we do, now we're maybe uh, a couple months down the road, we then promote Business by Design. So we have promoted James's program, Business by Design, for the last couple of years. We've worked with hundreds of students in building their business and it's, it's a great product and I love supporting James. And I love being able to help and work with BBD students because um, obviously you guys know that we focus a lot on messaging in our brand, but what I don't focus a lot on our brand is actual business development, marketing strategies, how to systemize, how to build a team, all things that we've done and I love talking about, but I get to do that with our the Business by Design students who join Business by Design through us and our link and, and our bonus package. So what we do, and you guys will experience this coming up because we're getting gearing up for, to promote Business by Design, is we will promote Business by Design. So obviously we get an affiliate commission for every sale we make, but we offer a bonus package. So we will offer a bonus package that when you join Business by Design through us, you get all of these bonuses for free. Now, these bonuses include a live event mastermind. And we usually do, do that at the end of the year. So the way my company makes money when we promote Business by Design is we get our commissions. So we usually will do you know multiple six figures in commissions is usually what we do. And so that's a nice you know chunk of money coming in. But what we do is we then take all of our business by design affiliates and we run them through a process to become our students. So we'll run them through our launches and then at the event, we will offer them to join our mentorship program. And so that's another way that we generate revenue even with our business by design students. Um, and we offer to help them on deeper levels. So again, even if you do decide to join us this year, in Business by Design, you're gonna get all of our bonuses for free, but down the road, you'll have the opportunity to join some of our higher level programs too, if you want. The next thing we do after Business by Design is done, we relaunch our signature program again. And what we do is we just run through that whole process. So when Business by Design is done, we relaunch our program again, which means we sell it for $3,000. A week later, we're gonna do our 497 downsell that does an upsell. 30 days after that, we're gonna do FOMO promo. And then we're gonna do a big push to get people into the mentorship program as well. So we repeat that process six months after our first launch. And then in October, so now that's like September, then in October, we have a big event, which is the New Generation Mastery Live event. It's like a three-day, mastermind live event with all of our students. And at that event, we upsell into our mentorship program. Now that is basically our, basically our entire year. So just to recap what we're doing, launch in the beginning of the year, we have a FOMO promo or upsells or down sales. We have our upsells to the mentorship program that moves us into BBD. Then we bring our BBD students in, we run them through backend processes to eventually become a client and, and customer of ours as well. Then what we do is we relaunch again, Again, that starts our FOMO promo, our upsells, our downsells. Um, then right out the next month, we go right into our event. At our event, we are upselling into our mentorship program. But the one thing that I want you guys to recognize is that during all of this, 
while all of this is going on or in between launches, we have our thought reversal program at 497 being evergreen, which means that when I'm not launching, we have automated sales coming in on our lower level program. Uh, we want to, for lack of a better word or phrase, we want to stockpile as many thought reversal customers as we possibly can in between launches, because what we do with our thought reversal customers is we give them private emails and funnel them into our launch, getting them to upgrade to our $3,000 program. And once in our $3,000 program, then it starts a series of emails to our higher level programs. Again, it's a machine. We have built a machine. We have built a machine that runs without me, that has sales coming in even when we're not launching. Um, and this is why I love launching so much. Most people don't like launching because they look at the very surface level. It's a lot of work and I only make money during that launch. No, you shouldn't be only making money when you launch. You should be having backend processes and evergreen items and events and different things where you're always constantly upgrading, upselling, downselling. And this is how we start to double your revenue without adding in more launches. The launches are what feed your sales process. The launches aren't the sales process. They feed the sales process. Yes, you get big bursts of income, but they should be feeding a machine that will double the amount of sales you make in the actual launch. That's where most of your revenue should come in. In fact, sometimes it's more beneficial for your company to not figure out how to do bigger launches, but to build a bigger and better backend system. And again, this is what I love helping students do is how do we first find the marketing? How do we first find the messaging? How do we do our first beta launch? Okay, great. Now, how do we do an actual launch? Cool, cool. The launch is working now. How do we build a backend system? How do I systemize it? How do I build a team? How do we do all of that stuff? And that's why I love working with so many business by design students on all of our affiliates, because I get the opportunity to be able to help you build an actual real business. I help you navigate business by design. I help you integrate the systems and the processes and the marketing and find out what strategies are gonna work for you and help you facilitate your messaging and all of that. So we do have some ads that are about to play at the end of this podcast that are gonna give you more training and info on business by design, how to work with us, how to join through our affiliate link, get all of our bonuses for free and allow me and my, men my team to mentor you through all of this. But that right there is how we can double your revenue without adding in more launches. So if you have any questions, please reach out to my team. And if you are interested in joining Business by Design, which is either open now or opening very soon, and you would like for us to uh, give you our bonuses absolutely for free, well, make sure you join through our affiliate link. Let us know. Reach out to my team. We're here to help you. And I'll see you guys on another episode of the New Generation Entrepreneur Podcast. Hey guys, thank you so much for checking out another episode of the New Generation Entrepreneur Podcast. If you enjoyed this episode, go below, hit the subscribe button, and make sure you click on that bell icon and get notified every time we drop a new episode. Now, if you're looking for the show notes, we have them linked underneath this video, as well as our social media handles and some links to free training and offers that we drop from time to time to help you guys even further. So go check those out if you're interested. And thank you so much for tuning in to the New Generation Entrepreneur Podcast.